very warm welcome to the video tutorial of Shopify Ask a Question app. Now in this video tutorial, we will learn about this amazing app called Ask a Question, its installation, configuration and its functionalities. So let's get started. Firstly, you have to go to apps.shopify.com slash ask a question and click on the get button to get the app. But before that, in case you want to read the features of this app, like otherwise uh, give your customers a privilege to ask questions or any doubt about the product, keep a track of your conversation history, customization of forms label as per requirement, etc. So you can have a look at it and click on the get button to get the app. Now here, you're required to enter your Shopify shop URL and click on the login button to proceed for the installation process. Here we are on our Shopify store and this message will flash to install the app. You have to click on this button of install app and then you will be asked to approve a charge. Now please note that this app comes with a trial period of uh, 3 days. Approve the charge from here and the app is installed. Now this is the home page of the app along with the general configuration, label configuration, mail configuration and ask questions. So we'll come to each part one by one but firstly as you can see that there is this important note right here that you have to copy this below given two quotes into the product.liquid and customer slash account.liquid file respectively to have this ask me tab displayed on your uh, product description page on the store's front end. So we will come to that part later as well. So let's first go to the configuration, general configuration. Now as you can see that this app basically consists of uh, three divisions when it comes to the configuration, general, label and mail. So now this time we are doing the general configuration. The domain name or the shop URL along with the email ID of the admin store owner on which the admin wants to receive the mail and the shop logo is configured here from this uh, general configuration. So you have to enter your domain name, email address and the shop logo and click on the save button and the general configuration is saved. Coming on to the label configuration, you can configure the content of label as per your requirement like setting up the ask mm, button content name label content, email label content, you can edit each button's content as per your requirement or the message of uh, all fields are mandatory or what, whichever way you want it to get displayed on your store's front end, you can configure it as per that and click on the save button to save the changes of any. Coming on to the mail configuration, you have to configure your mail configuration from this section. You simply have to write the mail subject and then the content and click on the save button to save this or in case you want to reset it and uh, you can reset it from here and if you want to send a text mail you can just click it here and the text mail will be sent. This, this section shows the listing of all the questions which are asked in the history or priorly uh, along with the details. So we just have to click on the view button and we can have the detail of the question asked and the customer. For example, query ID, customer name, his email ID, product ID for which he's asking the question, name of the product and uh, current status whether you have replied to it or not so it will be pending. So the question asked is what is the exact material used for this bag? In case I want to reply, cotton. And I will just click on the reply button and the reply for this particular question will be sent to the customer. Now coming back to the home page. This section shows the pop-up of new questions asked. So this is a very significant feature of this app that the moment admin will log into this app, he will come to know that how many new questions are there. For example, as you can see, I have just refreshed this app and uh, I can see the one new question has been asked. So 
it will be significantly visible to the admin from here just clicking on which he will get to know that how many new questions are there so view and you will be again redirected to this ask question section wherein you can have the detail of the customer who is asking the question and the product which he is asking the question for so is it possible to have the same set in four seater for this particular dining table six seater so the admin can reply and simply click on the reply button and they replied sent successfully so that was all about this uh, app and its functionality now coming on to this important note what we have to do is we have to copy both these codes one for product.liquid and one for customer slash account.liquid file and paste it to this particular template so we'll copy one by one firstly we'll copy the first code given for product.liquid file go back to the online store select the themes go to the html css edit option and click on the product.liquid file and paste the code anywhere you want that ask me button to get displayed and click on the save button to save the setting for example i'll paste it here and click on the save button to save the setting asset save successfully now going back to the app again we have to go to the app and copy the next code similarly and paste it into the customers account dot liquid file copy it from here go to the online store select the themes select the option of edit html css and from customers account dot liquid you have to paste this code anywhere you want to have this ask me button here and save the setting so asset saved successfully now as both the assets are saved successfully so what we can do is we can have a look at the store's front end of uh, how the ask me button is getting reflected there simply clicking here view your online store you will be redirected to the online store and clicking on any of the products you want so there is this ask me button visible here clicking on which we can have the query entered it will be visible to the stores back end so that was all from the ask me app thank you so much and stay tuned for more videos